Alright guys, let's go over this real quick meta fields. Uh, what is it? Why do you need it? We get so many questions. We often use it. We often use meta fields app, but I always get the question from clients. What? Meta? What? Why? How? And the concept is really simple. You see, if you go to a product page, we're going to use product pages as an example. If you go to a product page, you get this beautiful masterpiece right here that you follow. So it's always the same thing. You got your title where you fill in your title, you got your description, you fill in your description, you add a little image. See, I'm highly creative and a very good drawer. Um, here you add your variants, you know, large, extra large, medium. And then here at the bottom you have the search engine preview. So you can add some data there as well. And you get the product type, and then you can say the vendor from where it comes, um, which collection it comes to, and then you can say, oh, the tags some little extra info, one word, two word tags, you can put in there. All right, awesome. But now if we look at a, um, a page, a web page, and we will overlay that in the video, so you also have the title, and then the description, and then the image, and then the vendor, and then you know the variants and the price, and then that's it. So now I have a lot of clients that come to me and say, okay, but I want the description here, but then I also want like some information here below and some other information here. And you know, I want my product pictures to be here, but then I also want some product pictures to be here and here and here. So here you're kind of stuck with this format, always title, description, and image. So what MetaFields allows you to do is, and now I need, Meta fields allows you to basically say, hey, you know what? We're going to add an extra field. Let's say here. And this is going to be description number two. Description. Yeah, okay, you get the point. Number two. I'm not going to. You get the point. And this is going to be description number two. And you know what? We're going to add an extra image field. Image. And you can add the images um, of your person using a cup because you're selling a cup I, I don't know I, I I don't know it's Friday night I don't know but the point is that you can add extra fields you can say um, we, we use tons of information you want a description you want a third description you want a fourth description you want 20 different descriptions so that is what meta fields and meta fields managers allow you to do they basically allow you to add additional fields instead of just the title description and the fixed fields that you already have and that is why you use meta fields now you will see that all the meta fields manager they always ask you the same thing they ask you a key and they ask you a value well yeah because a key the developer is going to put inside the code of the web page he's going to say inside the code okay this little part of the web page is going to be the meta field but of course if he just says meta field the meta field app or code or system is going to say okay but which meta field do you want do you want the description meta field do you want the image meta field so you got to give your meta field a key um, and basically it's a nickname. This meta field is going to be called key description two because this was description one. So we're gonna call it description two. And this key, oh, I'm so bad at writing and explaining at the same time, it's ridiculous. And this key um, is basically like a nickname for, for a meta field. And then the value obviously is what you wanna write inside of that meta field. You wanna write text, you wanna say it's a great day today. Uh, I don't know. Um, you, that's going to be the value. But So you're gonna find all of these same standards coming back. So okay, to recap, because this might have been a bit messy, I did it because I just, my client asked it for me a hundred times, why do I need meta fields again? This is why you need meta fields. So let's recap. Meta fields allow you to add more information. You It gives you the opportunity for additional information fields outside of your standard information fields that you already have in Shopify. Instead of just title and description and one image series, you can add another section of descriptions or another section of image series or video. You can add additional information. And then the number two thing that you need to know is meta fields always come 
with a value and a key. And the key is just to identify which meta field you are referring to. So it's key, see it as a nickname for your meta field. And the value is whatever you want to enter it in. It's uh, a string, it's going to be an integer, a number, um, it's going to be a URL uh, towards a video or an image or anyway. So that's kind of meta field explained. I hope it makes sense. Um, not sure it does. But anyway, that was Metafields. If you have questions about Metafields app, we have tons of Metafield app reviews on our channel. Make sure to check them out. Each fit a different type of audience. And I hope that you'll have fun with uh, Metafields and add all that extra information to your website. Thanks a lot for watching this and see you in the next video.